I'm CJ, and I'm technically from the past, and I'm here to ask you, who's your TVA? Spoilers for Loki season one. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's amazing. Throughout the finale, which, by the way, the entire thing is a cliffhanger, like, now I have to wait for season two. I never wait for seasons of shows. I just binge watch the entire show. Marvel has made me watch shows like a normal person. But I had this thought. The TVA is this giant governing organization that nobody sees, but everyone has to follow the orders of. And I think if they were to send original Loki back to his original timeline, his behavior would be changed because he would know about the TVA, and fundamentally people can't know about the TVA. So my question is, all of us in the real world, which probably doesn't have a TVA, who or what is governing your life as if you have a destiny you need to follow? What is there telling you that you need to live in a very particular way or else the universe will break? I think a lot of us are governed by our habits, our parents, some actual government, our jobs. So then the question is, how do you break out of this mold set by the TVA and become your own person? Because at least as far as American values, independence is kind of among the highest, but everyone expects you to be independent in a certain way that they approve of, which I find very interesting. And now we're seeing kind of a reversal of that with the idea of main character energy. There are people who are main characters and there are people who are side characters. That's not how the world is. Everyone's the main character of their own story, or an even better analogy is everyone is the author of their story. You're the author of your own story. You can decide if you want to be a main character, if you want to be a side character, if you just want to be the orchestrating force between it all. And that's the amazing thing about being free. As kind of demoralizing as it is, the idea that there is no main character, that means nobody is burdened with the purpose of saving the world. None of us need to be that main character because we all work together. That's how real life works. It's not like one person is the chosen one and they're going to fix everything. We all need to get together and fix things. I think that's oddly enough a pretty hopeful premise because we're not just trying to figure out who's the main character. We're writing our own stories. And I think the point is, is to write a story that you're proud of. And that looks different for everyone. So your story can be anything. <laughs> Who is the TVA that's telling you that you can't do what you see as your life's purpose? I think quite often we're told by somebody that what we want to do with our lives is not a valid thing to want to do with our lives. And that can be sad, especially for like artists, because it doesn't make a profit. People say your purpose isn't valid, which is really, really sad that there are people who don't get to live out their purpose despite being able to, because society at large just says, nope, sacred timeline. I think it's time for all of us to write our own stories and get over the this idea that we have to follow a certain path that was set for us by our parents or our government or even ourselves and really think about what is the best thing to do. And I encourage all of you to think about that and really work on doing the next thing that you can do to write your own story and make it a good one.